What's going on guys? It's your favorite mortgage lender, Abdel Kwame. Got mortgages. Uh, wanted to really chat with us really quickly. Uh, quick update. I shared with us yesterday. Uh, we reached finally supposedly a debt ceiling deal. It's supposed to go through the House and the Senate this week to pass. The market is already reacting very favorably to this potential deal. Um, I think it's the sharpest decline in rates in quite some time. You know, at one point when the market closed up Friday afternoon, rates were almost as high as 7.12, I believe it was, according to Mortgage News Daily. They are now back under 7%. I believe it closed off at 6.95. What I did was I was able to lock a few clients yesterday. Uh, we do have something called a float down option, which basically gives us the ability to reduce the client's interest rate should they have reduced and reached a certain threshold of what we have. It's all about timing the market, right? It is not about, as I always say, finding the lowest interest rate. And I want to share with you guys an example with a client. <clears throat> uh, they were about to put 50% 50 per, 50 down on a home. They were about to put 50% down on a home. Um, it was about, I believe it was about a $410,000 contract. They wanted to put 50% down. So a little over 205 grand. <clears throat> Looked at some options. The client is very, very monthly payment conscious. So what we ended up doing was I said, hold on to some of your cash. Uh, I dropped the down payment to 40% down, which still a couple bucks in my opinion i really don't think she should go that high but you know who am i to judge so what we did was we dropped it to 40 percent down and i had the client pay roughly about ten thousand dollars in discount points and we got her the exact same monthly payment now the reason why i mentioned this is think about it the client is very monthly payment conscious she has the cash to close but she wants the lowest monthly payment with me doing it this way, essentially up front, the client saved roughly about 30 grand because of the difference of 10% of 40,000 is about 40 grand, $10,000 in discount points. She saved the extra $30,000. Discount points, and I'm not an accountant, but discount points are generally things that you can write off during your taxes when you're acquiring a home. So therefore she also gets to offset some of her tax liabilities from her income. Again, I am not an accountant, don't take my word for it, but I know that is one of the options that you're allowed to do when it comes to cost to acquiring a home, specifically discount points. <clears throat> so super, super important. I've shared other examples. I just had a client recently close. She was gonna do 20% down, the house under appraised by about $5,000. So instead of her coughing up the extra money, I dropped her down payment to 15% down. It was a pretty expensive house. Um, and I ended up actually taking 15% down, doing a single upfront mortgage insurance premium, which if I'm not mistaken, again, is tax deductible as well from the upfront cost. Um, and then what we did was save the upfront money. She did not have to cover the appraisal shortage because we rolled in the difference. She was able to not have to pay mortgage insurance and essentially saved, it was about a $600,000 home, 5% of 600, again, roughly about 30 grand. Guys, these are the differences of working with a knowledgeable, reputable mortgage lender. It is not necessarily all about getting the lowest interest rate. I can't continue to stress that. Uh, and my rates are hyper, hyper, hyper competitive compared to a lot of the other lenders that are out there. So. Make sure you are getting all the options available. Hopefully we're gonna start seeing a little bit of a positive stride in terms of interest rates. You know, this week is gonna be big. Also, we have some employment data coming out between today and tomorrow <clears throat> with jobless claims. And we're also gonna see the jolt reports, which has been a little, a little shady, I should say, in terms of some of the data that's coming out. So we'll kind of see how that goes. We also saw uh, Case Shiller and the home price index with the FHFA that showed positive appreciation for homes. So homes are still appreciating and they're appreciating still at, I believe it was about four or 5% increase on top of what we've seen in 2020, 2021 and 2022. Some sprinklers. So 
that's huge. So for those clients, if you're sitting on the sideline and you're waiting on home prices to drop, it's likely not going to happen. You know, there, we have a shortage of homes. I'm hoping now with this debt ceiling agreement that they've reached, I believe they increased the spending limit. They're going to do some budget cuts. I was reading an article yesterday with Mortgage Watch of some of the changes that they may be doing towards Social Security. I'm not as well versed, so I won't share any info into that until I read more. Um, but again, employment, <clears throat> inflation, and now this debt ceiling are the three main things that I'm personally monitoring. And I know a lot of the other professionals are monitoring. We're now in June 1st, which is crazy. Uh, kids are about to wrap up school two more weeks so that should be fun and then we're going to start seeing a lot of the different changes into the fed meeting which is also going to be um mid-june we'll kind of see their stance i think most likely some of the consensus has changed where they may still hike the federal funds rate another 25 basis points again remember if they are going to it's already kind of factored into the market for now probably one of the reasons why i did lock some of my clients a little earlier than normal it was going to float but I think it's better for us to assume what we have right now and take it from there. Um, video's a little longer than I wanted it, but a lot to cover. If you guys have any questions, obviously, give me a call, shoot me a DM, whatever channel you're watching this on, and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. Thanks, guys. Adele Kwame, Got Mortgages. Have a blessed day. Let's go.